Orange Cassidy versus Daniel Garcia. God damn, what a great match this was, too. So early, it's all comedy. Uh, Orange is being orange. Daniel's got his wacky dance that he's doing a lot of. Orange uses the power of nonchalance to just walk out of a drop toe hole, just refuse to go down before he just wasn't cooperating. But then, suddenly, Daniel targets the bad hand, and the tone immediately changes. This is no longer a comedy match. This is a fight. And uh, afterwards, Garcia is totally in control, and he starts mocking Orange. He puts his own hands in his pockets and does, as Taz called it, a funky, weird, awkward, uncomfortable dance. Orange is also selling his knee in addition to his hand, and every time he makes a mini comeback, Garcia just kicks him in the knee, and Orange goes back down. So, uh, Garcia gets a dragon tamer, transitions to a triangle choke, hits a kick to the bad knee, goes to a cross face with stomps in the hand. I thought this was it. I thought this was the end of Orange Cassidy's great all land title run. But Orange reverses to a cradle, Daniel reverses back, they spin a few times. Orange eventually wins this cradle battle to win the match. This was great. This was an escape by a wily veteran in Orange Cassidy. And man, the look on Daniel Gar- I always love the look on people's face when they do it right after they've been caught. Like Daniel Garcia, the moment that hand hits for the third time, he just knows he fucked up. Yep. And he, he's not even like mad. No, disappointed. He's just like, fuck me, dude. So, I really got pinned and cradled by this nerd. By this guy? Who I've been stepping on his hand for 15 minutes. And, you know, Excalibur's story was if he had done less sports entertaining, he would have won this match. And, in fact, the very first spot in this match was Daniel Garcia tried to mock Orange Cassidy by putting his own hands in his pockets. And Orange Cassidy attacked him. And then, yes, Daniel Garcia, he now has that dance, which is like, it's such an awesomely shitty dance. (laughs) It's so fucking ridiculous when Daniel Garcia does it. And uh, he's doing his goofy dance and everything. And, I mean, you know, this is this is not a, a short-term... These are not short-term storylines, they tell. No. The day is going to come when he realizes that he is not a sports entertainer. He is a professional wrestler. And they're just very slowly telling this story. I should also add, uh, we've mentioned for a while that Orange's title run has been one of the best things on the show in months. It's getting to the point where, like, this is one of my favorite things in the history of this promotion. It's still new. It's not even five years I'm old. I'm telling yet. you, this this Orange Cassidy title run is awesome. It's fantastic. It's one of the best things they have going right now. Mm-hmm. It's one of the best title runs they've ever had, to be honest. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the other thing with, I mean, I sometimes I have an idea in my head and I just decide that's the way it's got to be, even if there are no plans for that whatsoever. But I go back to that segment I talked about earlier, where. Wheeler Yuta was really excited that he was going to be getting a tag title shot. And, like, what would happen if he didn't get it? And then, like, last week, Brian Danielson called him a little shit. And then here we have Daniel Garcia, who in his, you know, in his heart of hearts is a pro wrestler and not a sports entertainer. And I still think that ultimately uh, we should do a switch here where Daniel Garcia ends up in the Blackpool Combat Club, which will be renamed, by the way, as I'll get to later. Mm. And uh, and Wheeler Yuta should be a fucking very wacky sports entertainer for a while. I think that's where this should end up. A big double, a, a double switch, a double faction switch with these two. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey! out there. Uh-oh. Hey! Uh- what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey! Taking over the show. Oh no. Dom, Oreo. hit that music, brother. How oh, the hell with it? You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, no, no. I love you guys. I love you. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? 
I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.